Okay, guys, we're back. I want you to see how light this is. Woo! Follow me into the bathroom. Small quarters. Shutting the door here. I want you to see how it goes in the shower and how convenient it really is. It's small. This was my biggest question and hesitation of buying this. Electricity, I'm going to get a white nicer extension cord, but for now, this is what I have. So, we're about to see how this thing works. Open the washer side, what I said I was going to do. By the way, I bought the Aqua, Aquanetic, so it's got pretty good water pressure. Our campground does not. So, we're going to pause this video while we fill this up. Be back. Okay, so this is the water level where we chose right here. I wasn't 100% how much to put, to be 100% honest with you, but it will agitate with it open. Check that out. So it's kind of a pulsating agitation. I have no idea how much soap to put, so I chose this amount, hoping that that's good. And I'm going to go ahead and let that mix. Oh, it's very bubbly, so that may have been too much. We're gonna try that amount. Okay, we'll turn around here while that's mixing. Check out the clothes. In fact, I'm just gonna turn that off because it's ready. So I have one pair of socks, one pair of gym shorts, two large, my size t-shirts, one pair of scrubs, top, bottom, just like so. They're pretty well submerged in the water. I may have to add, I really don't know. I feel like that's gonna get it. That's just the right amount of water. I may add just a tiny bit more hot. Alright, we'll pause and get back with you on how they look when they come out. Thank okay guys, it's done. I did like eight minutes. So I went to like five and then maybe two again. Something like that. Somewhere around that. I don't know. So there they are. So you have the drain hose here. Comes out of the side. It's got a little clip just for security. I obviously dropped it down to vein uh, drain via gravity. This has a setting called drain. And it's draining. It's not as dirty as I thought. Maybe I don't work hard enough. So after that drains, I'm going to pause. We're going to come back, fill it with water, and do the, basically the same thing as a rinse, and then I'll show you the spin cycle. Okay, YouTubers, I filled it up with water. This is the rinse. That's just the water. And I agitated it for six minutes, and now it's drain time. If it still feels soapy, I will do another rinse. Okay, that's the one rinse right there. I did not need a second. Open this. Pull this little guy out. Do not lose this. Scrub top, wet. Toss it in. They smell amazing, by the way. Scrub pants. I think I'm going to start there and spin those out and see what's up. So we can put this guy in, squeeze it down, shut that first. I will learn that the hard way. I think it'll stop if I open it. It does. Okay, we'll let you know. Because I just wanted you to hear it. No vibration. quiet so there's no alarm like your home there's no ding when it's done it's just done okay take the little squishy thing out 
Well, so you saw those go in wet. I mean, they're damp, but they're lighter and they're pretty dry. That's kind of impressive, to be honest. Look at that. They're damp. I don't know if you can tell the difference, but that's like 30 minutes. You can see we're it's dry in some places and dark in others so jeans are probably gonna have to spend longer but that's three minutes I'll go throw them on the drying rack okay scrubs are drying I just wanted you to see how wet the shirt is look at this like hold that watch this shirt this is straight out of the wash check that out okay so that's that wet that is that wet. Gym shorts, wet. Socks, wet. Okay, so there they are. Put your squeeze thing on top and squeeze as hard as you can. Shut her down. I'm gonna show you what this thing will do in three minutes. By the way, I have my AC running, we're 30 amp. This running, not yet at the same time, I washed, as you saw, and then I dry. Um, our dehumidifier is running because we're in Georgia, so it's very humid here, like 90% humidity. What else is running? And then just typical lights. So, anyway, we'll be back. Okay, guys, the beauty of not having to go to the laundromat. Whoop, whoop. Back to uh, reality here. I did a full exact three minutes. Take the topper out. Gym shorts. Wow. I mean, they're damp. They're damp to touch, but that is like, I can wear those in an hour. Probably less. Wow. I mean, just damp. That's, there's no other description. Now, this feels a little bit more wet. Of course, pretty sure this is probably hundred percent cotton and it's wrinkled so I'm gonna hang it up on a hanger and work it out like that this one is a different it's one of that real soft t-shirt so it's actually more dry this is the culprit of most of the water but I mean that's really impressive not having to go to the laundromat so I'm gonna put this on the drying rack and I mean uh, I would just give this a, a great review to be honest with you follow me outside We'll oh, shut this, don't forget, as I've done four times now. Okay, guys, as you see, I have a Labrador. That's why I need, and two dirty little tiny poodles. So I wanted to show you one thing that I had a question about. It came from Amazon with this box. Best Choice Products. Nowhere on this box does it say anywhere that it's a washing machine. So if your campground has policies against it and says, oh, we don't like that, they have no idea. Open it inside, use it inside, and don't publicize and you're golden. Sorry for the mess, guys. We have not been home. We work. Um, gadget Guru over here, Bertha, she ordered this is for like socks and panties. And of course you could suspend it from the ceiling. Sorry, I don't have long enough arms. And then this drying rack, so we're about to just get our laundry on. That's what's happening. That's what's up. Anyway, good day, peep. Stay blessed. Ruby loves you.